What is this? This is me working on a new prototype. This is a quad rotary encoder to stomach QT converter. It's got an AT Tiny 817 that's reading all the encoder pins and the switch pins. And there's even uh, underlit NeoPixels. And uh, for most rotary encoders, you actually can't see the LED. I mean, you can see it kind of behind my finger. But there do exist rotary encoders that have a translucent body. And although these don't have a switch, uh, they do shine the LED light through, so you can get a really cool effect, especially if you have a translucent knob. Uh, so I'll have the um, underlit reverse mount NeoPixels, even though you know for the most part you can't see them when you're using these low-cost um, rotary encoders, but I think with the uh, translucent ones, it's a very cool look. So all over I squared C, and this demo is running on my Arduino Uno compatible over here. Soon in the Adafruit shop. All right, Lady, what's this? This is me making a little demo for our new ANO encoder to stem a con stem a QT converter. Uh, it's got an AT Tiny 816, which is doing the conversion from this rotary encoder and switches to I squared C. So it's really easy. And you can see this little um, LED letting me know when activity has occurred. And I have it hooked up with a RP20 uh, Cutie Pie over I squared C to the seven segment display. And then, you know, as I turn the knob, it's counting the pulses. So it's doing a good job catching all those pulses. And then if I press the select up, left, right, and down button, and also displays that. So uh, really nice example of some plug and play stuff that used to be really, really hard to do, but with STEM IQT and Seesaw and QE Pie, it's as easy as Pi. Coming soon to the Adafruit shop. All right, Adafruit, what is this? This is an advanced Gravis joystick that I just took apart. Um, I'm making a little board that will let you use PC joysticks with any microcontroller. It does the analog digital conversion, the button reading, and um, these joysticks are all PC joysticks and they use a DE15 port. And I wanted to figure out like, so I, you know, I never actually had a PC joystick. So this is my first time kind of messing with one. And I just plugged it in and it like wasn't working at first. And so I took it apart because I wanted to like trace everything out. And then I realized, so on the side, these switches actually select mechanically which button connects to which pin on the DE15. Uh, and I had them all centered because I thought like, oh, you want it centered. But actually that means that none of them were actually selected to working. Another neat thing is, um, so now they're all connected directly and they've got there's three buttons connected to two outputs. Another interesting thing is the potentiometers on this joystick, you'll see as I twist the pots go back and forth, they're not connected as a divider because on the PC side, there's no analog digital conversion. Like they didn't have ADC, that was very expensive. So what you do is actually you feed this variable resistance into an oscillator, like a 555 or something similar, and then measure the pulse width. So on the other side, I need to add, and you can see over here, the matching 10K resistors that form the divider that then go into this ADC, because nowadays ADCs are a lot cheaper. This is a Gravis Advanced Joystick. This was a state-of-the-art PC joystick. It's got that joystick, two ML, uh, potentiometers. It's got a button up here, two buttons up down here. You note know that the, uh, the PC joystick spec actually only allows for two buttons, so there's like three, but you can remap them. And the remapping is actually done over here using these, well, they look like um, potentiometers, but they're actually mechanical switches that lift and disconnect the contacts with the different buttons, which I just learned about. And then over here, we've got uh, the X and Y and the different buttons output. And this is going into a um, Cutie Pie board through a Stomach QT design that I just wrapped up. It's got an AT Tiny 816 that does all the analog digital conversion. I have to like quickly remember the math for how to calculate the variable resistor when you have a fixed lower resistor in the resistor divider. All is working well though, and we'll be in the Adafruit shop soon. How early data was this? This is me making a tester for this new Seesaw board. This is a gamepad. Um, it's gonna make it really easy for people to add little game controllers to their projects. It's got an analog thumbstick, X, Y, and then four nice squishy buttons to press and then select and start. So you can do for emulators, but anything that just needs a little game interface, and you just plug it over and stem a QT. I use a uh, Metro M0 to program it, and I use UPDI, which is um, how you program the AT Tiny series press this down, 
press the button, it connects, it programs the chip. Hold on. Sometimes I have to reset it. Okay, and then it says I have to press the buttons. So then I press each button and then it's past test. So we're gonna get this into the Adafruit shop soon. It's gonna be so cool and cute. All right, and then we have uh, some designs here. So what is this? This is a small USB hub. We uh, we had a couple of projects we wanted to embed a USB hub into something because we had like two things we wanted to connect to it with one USB cable. Um, and you can buy hubs, but sometimes you want to like put it inside of an enclosure. So this is just- I buy a hub. I want a hub in my thing. This is just like a hub breakout, uh, basically. So it's got oh, USB, USB-C, and then it's got, uh, you know, also maybe you want to sometimes not have the data pins connected. Um, and it's got, uh, four ports output and then the usb host is duplicates it's just like hub breakout i don't know it's kind of, kind of cool and then this is a uh, ideal diode chip i found it in my pile and i was like oh my god i forgot to design a board for it so i got samples like two three years ago and then um this is somebody asked oh hey can you you know you have a micro sd bff and you have an itos amplifier bff coming out soon what if you mix the two and i was like oh yeah, yeah. i was gonna do that it was like they reminded me this was uh so i put two to data and uh somebody boosted the toot someone boosted the toot and we were like oh nice and I'm like toot. that's a good toot that's been boosted I, goot um you know what's interesting goot, goot. what's goot. interesting is the way social media works for us is like yeah there's like crummy people out there that insult each other and dunk on each other um however you could just ask for hardware and we'll probably make it yeah it's like a magic lamp yeah they just asked like, like 24 hours later i was like hey here's the yeah, we're like that's a good idea so imagine if all of that negativity instead of it you know people being crummy to each other was turned into requests for a, a better world together anywho um so we're working on the circuit pirate last week or so i was like i think we're gonna call it the circuit pirate it's the next version of what the bus pirate is we wanted to kind of keep the the theme nautical theme maybe but then we're like you know what we could actually go a different way so i think we might one of the names we might it might be bit raider because this still works but then we're like you know what's kind of cool protocol droids so we're playing around with the name protocol droid instead because it speaks all different protocols and then we can have this cool little droid and it would be called protocol droid um in the chat i'll, I'll post up some of the other names um that we were thinking of just because these are always fun so you can see our process um there was uh go back here uh, let me go back. i think which way, what's your favorite one uh, the top one this one no 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 this one no the one above huh? it keep going this one yeah the one on the like right one. so some of the other names this is pirate themed arm matey bandwidth buccaneer bit raider bus banger bite brigade bite buccaneer digital deckhand freebooter hardware hawk logic looter signal uh c dog <laughs> oh it was good so that's watch I mean, signal c dog kind of the yeah. best it's so like so ridiculous yeah voltage viking and protocol droid which is you know not pirate themed at all but we're like you know what we, just the way the letters fit together and everything it's kind of neat so we're gonna make sure we'll, we'll check with our lawyer folk because um there's been things referred to as protocol droids but it's kind of a generic term i mean like, i can call anything a protocol droid um so that's what we might do Anyways, that's a preview of what this next bus pirate-like thing might be called. That's top secret.